Hi folks, Duncan here. I'm a classical guitarist, composer and teacher and today I'm going to speak to you about the topic of the worst school guitars ever. Now from my years of experience working in schools and teaching guitar privately I've reached the conclusion that anyone who's done this job would have encountered some truly horrifically awful instruments on the course of their travels. There's guitars that began their life as modest budget beginner instruments but then decayed over time and neglect into unplayable monstrosities held together by gaffer tape. With action that can only be measured in inches. And with school budgets being what they are, with strings that probably began life, you know, your typical silver or bronze colour, but via the accumulated finger dirt of hundreds, if not thousands, of adolescent learners over the years, ended up becoming a coal miner shade of black. And that's before we get to that modern classic, favourite of primary school princesses everywhere, the Home Bargain's pink plastic guitar. Which actually sounds okay when you tune the open strings. As long as you never intend putting a chord down, you'll be alright, because the moment you fret the notes, it sounds like this. Kind of goes a bit sharp by, you know, just a perfect fourth or so. So, we've all seen some pretty bad guitars, but today I think I can introduce you to the worst school guitar in the world ever. seen horrific insults to the name of classical guitar that make that sound and look like a vintage Ramirez? Let me know in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe for more guitars and giggles. Till next time, 